everyone today we will see the unboxing of Unify Switch 24 volt POE uh, this box we will check later so let's check what's inside the box so this is what you get inside the box the Unify Switch itself and let's remove this ok we will keep it here and see what's inside this box here I think it will have a rack ears, two rack ears, as you can see, I will place it here, and some screws for rack ears mounting and to mount it on the rack, and the power cord, and some instruction manual, unify switch 24 p so we'll check these all the things later on. Keeping this aside, let's open the Unify switch. This is Unify switch and as you can see it has 24 port POE switch. Whereas you can see 16 port are the POE and the remaining pay, uh, remaining port are just a data port gigabit. Here you can see the LCD uh, 1.3 inch screen. Let's check the back side of this switch. So as you can see here the back side of the switch. It's a port 100 to 240 volt to ampere max 50 to 60 the switch. That's it. We will see how we will power on this Unify 24 POE switch and try to adopt on the Unify controller. As you can see, just power on the Unify switch and the uh, 1.3 inch screen says the USW is starting. As you can see. Okay. And just wait for it to go down. As you can see, one of the ports LED is blinking, so the Unify switch is starting. Let's give it some time. So I Switch port one. As you can see, I've just connected it to the cable. The cable is sitting on IP address. Is it good? It gets IP to LAN. I have connected the Unify Switch 24 POE to the network and now, right now it's showing on the controller is pending adoptions. It says click to adopt, so I will just click to adopt. So it will take some time to adopt. Yeah, it says getting ready. Manager here, the uplink port, and everything. 